All right, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to set up an assignment. I've started with a pretty clean uh, Moodle shell, just so you, we don't get distracted. But you see I've got my middle sections here. Um, first thing I have to do, as always, when you're adding resources or editing a course as a teacher, is turn editing on. So we turn editing on, and that makes these drop downs appear. So an assignment is an activity. So we'll just go and we'll pick. Um, the most flexible is advanced uploading of files. It may have more features than you need. So let me start with a simple online text. Gives me these options. Uh, so think an online text is for something that you would want the student to type or paste in online. So let's take a simple assignment like um, tell us about the weather where, where you are right now. Supposing it was an online class and uh, people were all scattered over the country. And so then you'd put your, you can put your instructions here. Uh, write about the weather, about the weather, and how it makes you feel. Not more than two paragraphs. Now, if you wanted them to do something like a Word document, you wouldn't do this. This is just for inline for text to be uh, in the browser. Okay, and then we could determine how many points we wanted to be worth, and I'll say ten points. And do we want due dates? And you can specify those. I don't want to worry about due dates, so I'm going to disable the on and the off. Do I want to allow or not allow late submissions? Uh, since I don't have a due date, that doesn't really matter, so I can ignore it. Uh, do I want to allow them to fix it? Um, no, because the weather is going to be one time when they first do it. Uh, do I want to get an alert? Sure. Uh, do I want to be able to reply in line when I give feedback? Yes, I do. And we don't care about groups in this case. We want it to be visible. Uh, don't care about the other material. And if I had grade categories in my grade book, I could do that. So then we can just hit Save and Display. And this is what the user is going to see with a little button that shows um, how to type their text in line. Uh, as with all the other assignments, go ahead and have a look at the student course to see how this looks from a student perspective. Now. Now we'll jump to the other kind. I'm going to go back to the main page. And you see this new assignment. You could, of course, hide it so the students won't see it or unhide it. And you can move it around anywhere else on the page you want. And you can indent it. And uh, you could assign groups this way. Or you can go back and edit it. So now we'll do another kind of assignment. Um, we'll do upload a single file. And you see the page is very similar. Let's just say in this case we want um, upload child, or we'll just call it childhood essay, childhood, child, we've got a spell, essay, and uh, write a 200 um, word short essay about a significant experience you had as uh, a child before age I don't know, 15. 15. Um, save it as RTF, which is a more of a universal text format. Um, you can do this from Word. Now you could always put your instructions somewhere else um, in course handouts or in a separate part of Moodle as a web page resource or something like that. But if the instructions are brief, you can put them here as well. Um, and we'll say again, I want to pick 10 points on this one. And we could pick a due date. And these, the due dates here are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to disable that as well. I don't care about late submissions because there's no due date. Um, and I will allow resubmitting. And I don't want to get an alert this time. And then we have this size setting. Now, your school may have different options here. Uh, a Word document should never really be more than a meg unless they put a lot of graphics. This is, should be a pretty small application, so I'm going to go with 500k or 1 megabyte to be safe. Again, no groups, make it visible, uncategorized, and let's go ahead and save and display. And you notice it doesn't look very much different. Again, go to the student course to see um, how that works from the student perspective, and you can always log in as a student to see that as well. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go back to the main course. I have these two. I'm going to indent this one to be a little bit nested below that one. Um, I can turn editing off, and it looks like this. And up here, uh, there's this drop down where I can pick to uh, be a student. 
and your installation may or may not have this option, but uh, if it doesn't, you can often go to a student account and log in as them to see how things are in your course. And then we can click on it, and this is how a student would see it, and they would see an Edit My Submission button. And then they could go in and type, the weather is so-and-so, and save their changes. Right? So that's what the student would see. Now we go to the other assignment, and the childhood essay, and this is what the student will see, those instructions. And then they can choose a file and find it on their computer and upload it by clicking Upload. So let's go ahead and I'll just pick a sample file, like here's a picture of me. Now, obviously the teacher's going to come and say I didn't do it right because I didn't upload a Word document or an RTF. So I'll continue. And now it shows the file I uploaded. And notice I could do a different one. So I'll choose File, and uh, I'll do this uh, self-evaluation. I'll upload that one. And it says the old file in your upload area have been deleted. So you have to, if you allow them to resubmit, they can overwrite their old file. Here it shows the new one. So that's how those two types of assignments work. Pretty straightforward. Once you do a couple of them, you realize this is very easy to set them up. And uh, we'll deal with the other two in a separate video.